and what's up everyone welcome to the second project video of our series seven days of computer vision projects where we will be covering basic projects in the computer vision i am viper from data coil and we will be making an air mouse in this project with saying air mouse we will be controlling our mouse by moving fingers in front of the camera without getting any delay let's get right into the topic so first thing we are going to do is obviously start with importing our useful libraries and first thing we are going to import is media pipe input media pipe is mp and then uh, cb2 which is of course open cb and then uh, another library mouse uh, i will tell you how to install this in a while and then numpy is np and also kinter uh, we are going to use Kinter just to get the screen dimension, uh, nothing more than that. Uh, now run that. Uh, if you have not installed Media Pipe or Mouse Set, then I suggest you to do something like this. Uh, um, first, start with this exclamatory sign and then pip install Media Pipe uh, and then mouse now uh, i hope you can run this and just to show you the demo i'm going to do this do this uh, but it already showed that uh, requirement already satisfied so i hope you can do this and install these libraries now uh, next thing i'm going to do is uh, get the screen width and height and in order to do that first thing i have to do is make an object of kinter so let me define a root just for the kinder and then width info underscore screen width and then copy this line and then paste that line and then change it is it is height And then define a new variable your size and place it uh, height and width. Then let's see what's the what is the dimension of my screen. So it shows that I have uh, 768 rows and 1366 columns. This is the dimension of my uh, computer screen. Now another thing we have to do is. Um, define a function uh, which will convert our uh, positions from the frame to the screen dimension what i mean by saying uh, from posi frame position to the screen dimension is that uh, the position of the uh, point or the contour or whatever uh, or the landmarks um, that we found uh, in our frame has to be uh, mapped to the screen dimension uh, because uh, we will be working in the frame which size can be literally 520 by 720 and then our screen size would be 768 by 1366 so if we kept working on that uh, frame pose frame world uh, then the pixel should be converted into this world so first thing uh, first function i am going to define is uh, frame position to screen position so it will take the frame size um, first I'm going to give it 480 by 640 as default and then screen underscore size and of course my screen size is 768 by 1366 and then uh, I'm going to give it frame position uh, and let me give it unknown and the frame position here will be uh, the landmark position uh, since we are going to use media pipe uh, the frame position would be the position of our finger so uh, now uh, let's extract y and x coordinates 
from the screen size screen size uh, second value will be x coordinates and then uh, which is uh, basically a uh, kind of unitary method where we are uh, getting the ratio uh, between screen size and the frame size and then uh, multiplying it with our uh, frame position mm. uh, I forgot calls to here uh, then screen position it will be uh, it will be in the list frame positions zero value into x ratio and then frame position one into y ratio and i should have not used e there okay now it is fine uh, screen post oh okay and another function we are going to define is a uh, function to compute the euclidean distance and uh, in this particular uh, application uh, i'm going to uh, define gesture is in the terms of distance between the landmarks so the best distance to use here is of course 2 d distance euclidean distance and the function name will be or uh, euclidean and it will take uh, first point and then second point and then square root of x2 minus x1 sorry i should have written point 0.1 okay uh, let's make it x2 x2 minus x1 to the whole square plus x2 sorry y2 minus y2 minus y1 to the whole square and then return the d So uh, let me check uh, this both. Uh, first thing I'm going to check is Euclidean, and I'm going to pass it uh, four comma three, four comma three, and then zero. Sorry, zero comma zero, and it should return five here. Okay, it is working fine. And let me check um, another function of uh, frame position to screen position. Uh, let's give frame position uh, is 100 by 100 I don't know what will be the uh, coordinate in the screen position but let me see, see if it is working fine uh, it shows that there is some error uh, it must be right here uh, and then let me run it again okay it is working fine now but now let's get into the difficult part uh, which is to extract the landmarks and then define some kind of gesture and then uh, making it work like a virtual mouse so uh, but first thing of course we have to do is define a camera source or video source and then cb2 dot video capture and i'm going to give zero here which means default camera source which is of course my webcam and then f size which is the size of frame uh, which will be 520 by 720 uh, and then another thing we have to define is drawing utility uh, from the media pipe uh, so that i could see where the landmarks is and this particular uh, method will be used uh, to draw the landmarks on our end so let me write media lumpy underscore drawing and then emp dot solutions drop drawing utils and then emp underscore hands is the end module which 
will be used in order to extract the end uh, from the frame which will be of course inside the solutions and then ends so uh, let me first go into the easier part and then gradually uh, go towards the in code uh, let me first extract the hand and then um, define the gesture and then perform the mouse operation so first uh, with MP hands uh, inside there will be another hands class and then static uh, image mode give it the value true and then maximum number of hands we are going to uh, work with will be defined by max underscore norm underscore and give it one because we only want to work with single hand and then a minimum detection confidence minimum detection detection confidence will be only 0 0.7 just in this case and then uh, let's run the below course only if the camera is running which means while cam dot is opened and then we will be extracting the frame by reading the frame in current buffer and if the frame has not been read properly uh, which which basically means that uh, I'm sorry let me interrupt this uh, if uh, the frame uh, frame read was unsuccessful then the value in the RT will be false uh, then the value in the RT will be false and we will not be able to do any operations in the frame so if uh, there is if the value of RT or return is false, uh, then we will pass this loop, which means we will not work do anything in this uh, current loop pass. And another thing we are going to we have to do is uh, flip the frame in order to make our frame look like a selfie camera. and we also need to resize our frame now we will give now another thing we have to do is uh, pass our frame inside the end module and then extract the landmarks in order to do that uh, i have stated in previous video that uh, media pipe expects frame to be in rgb format so i have to convert frame into the rgb and let's define it by rgb and convert it using open series convert color BGR to RGB and then uh, let's pass this RGB image uh, inside the process function once uh, the result has been extracted uh, we are going to draw this uh, result uh, in our hand so uh, first let's see if there are any landmarks if there are any landmarks then we are going to proceed else we will not care about it
if the landmarks has been extracted then we have we will loop through it and landmarks and then uh, simply we will draw that emp underscore drawing uh, dot drawing uh, sorry draw you uh, draw landmarks and then we will pass where to draw we want to draw it in frame and what to draw uh, of course landmarks uh, yeah, landmarks and then we also want it to be connected so once it is done then we want to see our frame Uh, let's name the window as just window and then pass the frame there and then uh, also uh, check for the key event if escape key has been pressed then exit out of the loop if cv2 dot wait key now we want to check in every milliseconds every single millisecond This is the code for skip key. Then we will break from the loop. Uh, after everything is done, we want to release the camera and then destroy the destroy every window. After everything is done, uh, let's see and how our code uh, will work out. Let's run it. Uh, we got error and another good thing is uh, we can easily overcome it uh, i have written ants instead of mp underscore ants let's run it and i again got errors so which says that it does not have ants so what i think uh, did is uh, i should have used this okay now my camera is ready and let me and let me move my hand up and as you can see here there is landmarks of my hand and if you would like to count there are 20 landmarks now we have uh, drawn these landmarks of our hand and next thing we're going to do is uh, calibrate our uh, cursor position using the uh, landmark and I want to do I want to move my cursor using the index fingers top position first so um, let me define a variable uh, uh, right here index tip of course index tip uh, which will take mp drawing then I want to normalize it into the framework because uh, the landmarks media pipe gives us will be of course in the normalized form so we want to denormalize it or we want to convert that landmarks into our framework we want to normalize it into the pixel coordinates and it will take and landmarks dot landmarks and I want to give it uh, index finger tip and then uh, its x position and then y position will be of course 
the value of y and then I want to normalize it according to the width and height of the frame so we have to define new variable height and width of the frame size of the frame so here will be height comma width then of course channel now frame dot shape now I'm going to give width and height here uh, now the value has been changed and let me first print it index it and then uh, let me run run the code and see whether it will print it or not okay so I got an error and let me see what is the error it says that it does not have landmarks okay it should be landmark not the landmarks uh, let me run it again now it is uh, printing the value and if i move it right there it should be near the zero and if i move my hand near here it should be near the maximum possible value of the coordinates as you can see here there are values near 30 and 40 so it, it is it is rep representing that we are going towards the top left corner now i want to calibrate the mouse position so let me first write simply mouse dot it would be mouse dot move uh, i want to move it to the position uh, index tip zero and then index tip one index tip one and uh, let me run it as you can see there i am moving my hand and along with my hand the cursor is also moving now let's convert this frame coordinate to screen coordinate in order to do that what i have to do is simply pass index underscore tip coordinate to function we defined earlier and also change the index tip to screen position on mouse dot move let's uh, run it again as i move near to the my right end of the frame the cursor goes in the right side and as i go near here my cursor goes over there and as i move my fingers in the little bit bottom side then the cursor moves a little bit more and so on in the top side also but there are some problems like uh, whenever i reach there the error, error pops out the error here uh, means that it cannot find the uh, uh, it will not be able to find the index tip which means no, there was not a index tip inside of inside a frame so it will return none and we will be extracting uh, the x position y positions and so on uh, of the non value which is obviously the error in order to work out uh, to the extreme position which is top right bottom left top left bottom right bottom left these positions are extremes and extreme left extreme right extreme top extreme bottom these are all extreme positions and uh, we will not be able to move our cursor freely on those positions because there will be limitations so in order to do that uh, i have come up with an idea to define a region of interest for our cursor so make an a region of interest in a frame which basically will be in the most of the center part and then move our hand inside that region and then we will be out of error for the like like this error and we can extract all the landmarks easily also so let me define new variables uh, for our rectangle which obviously will be left 
top and then right and then bottom and then it will be uh, let's make it topple 200 100 500 and 400 and i also want to show a rectangle uh, i can do it from right here Uh, I want to show the rectangle inside a frame. So I will take a frame and then pass it the top left corner and then the coordinate value of bottom right and then the color uh, I want to make it in red format B G and R and finally the width oh, I'm sorry thickness and then uh, let's see first uh, whether I can see rectangle or not so the rectangle is in the nearly center from all the positions now let me quit this window so we have built a uh, we have shown a uh, ROI now uh, I want to clip our uh, index po index finger positions uh, in this ROI and then from that ROI position I want to click I want to extend or I want to convert my, my index position from the ROI to screen wall so uh, first thing uh, I need to do is clip the position of index uh, index tip uh, like this index tip equals to uh, hold on I want to clip both the x value and y values like if uh, let me show this from the video uh, if my uh, index finger positions is here then my clip this position value to this position like the maximum value of the landmark would be this for the left side and maximum sorry minimum value would be in these positions and so on and so on we want to uh, clip all the landmarks inside this rectangle only so uh, so that we will not be getting any non type error so in order to do that uh, i have to obviously use numpy's clip method so np dot clip uh, np dot clip and I want to clip the value index tip zero and then uh, it will be between left and the right and then I want to clip the value of index tip one it will be from the top to bottom Now I want to normalize that value uh, again into the frame hold. Like first I have to, I will be clipping the landmarks into the ROI area just to make sure the uh, landmarks does not go outside the ROI. And then I will be converting that ROI um, landmarks into the frame hold. And then I will be converting the frame hold uh, landmark values into the screen size. So what we uh, what we would do is uh, start with the index tip zero, and then the concept is that we would be using the normalization concept, and the normalization concept simply tells that uh, we will be subtracting the minimum value from the position of the left, which is the of course minimum value uh, in the current range, and then multiplied by the ratio of the uh, length of the range the ratio between the new range which is of course mm, your size this is the new world this is the new world where we are going to con convert our landmarks into so you'll be getting the range of all uh, right minus left and then copy this line then paste it and then uh, the equivalent of right will be bottom 
of course bottom is the filter value then the top and then here will be also the uh, i'm sorry uh, top and then value one and let me see whether i can clip it or not so okay there is some error uh, topple does not support item assignment uh, which simply means that the index tip is topple now i have to make it uh, the list so that i can edit it okay now let's run it once again and see okay now if i move my finger over here it should be it should show me the value zero near the zero if, if zero if not the near the near zero and as you can see okay i have not shown the result yet let's see it the value is near the zero near zero and let me run it again if i move my finger uh, in the bottom side uh, hold on if i move my finger in the top top right then it should be the extreme it should be the, the uh, value like near zero and then the extreme value like 1366 or so on the reason i was not seeing the perfect value was i was only viewing the old index tip let's give the new index tip uh, right here uh, uh, now i want to view the screen position i want to see the screen position in every landmarks let's see so it should be uh, showing me near values or near zero zero yeah of course it is showing value near zero zero and it was okay for the top left let's see what will happen in the top right it should be showing zero and near the 1366 okay it is again fine now let me run it again and check the bottom right value it is little bit hard to go in the little bottom bottom okay 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 now uh, it is showing perfectly fine near the 1366 and near, near the 768 it is showing fine now uh, my cursor can now move according to the coordinate value of the index t now i want to now i want to simulate simple operations like a uh, single kick double click uh, and then right click select and so on so how would i do well to that so let me first simply write the values uh, like all the operations that i want to perform uh, in a list uh, let me call that list events and then Uh, let's call single click is just click and then double click is this CLI ticket D click and then uh, right click is R click and then drag and also release Uh, these are just assumptions and i think it will change in the future also uh, let me see I, and uh, let's hope it will not change and the, another thing we have to do is uh, define variables uh, to check every few frames whether the click has happened or not like uh, it will listen in every 10 seconds or every five seconds whether uh, user is working to do single click double click drag or not so in order to do that first thing i have to do is define variable check underscore every uh, and check every 10 frames 
and also I want to count uh, the frames and it will operate obviously start with zero so before going into the operations like single click double click right click drag etc uh, let's first uh, make simple assumption uh, what gesture will be used for what operations uh, let me show in the camera so uh, let's hope that if I do like this then I want to simulate the press operation like I am pressing this uh, left click button and while I'm doing this and doing this it will be the uh, select and selecting operation and if I do something like this uh, which means that the tip of middle finger and the index finger will be near then I want to simulate the uh, right click operation uh, just the assumption it, it, might, it might change in the future but and and then if I do something like this uh, which means that the uh, down part or DIP uh, of the index finger and the tip of uh, thumb will be near then I want to simulate single click and uh, another operations like uh, if the tip of middle finger and uh, thumb finger would be near they are, then I want to simulate another thing these operations are these concepts are very simple than the gesture recognition concept like if I want to do uh, these operations using the gesture recognition then I have to train another model in order to find a gesture if the uh, distance between two landmarks are near zero then that is the gesture we are hoping to get uh, let's uh, code it let's first see the uh, landmarks in our hand that we can find uh, let me first get an image from my local drive the image name will, uh, is landmarks.png which is of course from the official tutorial this picture shows that there will be 20 landmarks and zero is obviously reached and the four is thumb tip, eight is index finger tip, twelve is index finger tip, and we are going to uh, simulate operations like a single click, double click based on these tips and these landmarks. Like if the thumb tip and middle finger tip, which is four and twelve, is near the uh, is near which means the distance will be near zero then I want to simulate a right click operation and another op operation is if the tip of thumb and the tip of index finger is near then I want to uh, simulate a left press if the thumb tip and the index tip is near then I want to simulate left press which means I am clicking the left button and I am not releasing it and another operation is index pip uh, which is uh, in the six which is right here if the value between uh, the six and the four which means if the distance between six and four is near the zero which they are getting nearer then I want to simulate operation single click and for the double click I want to check if the index tip and middle finger tip is near the zero so let me uh, write that code and which will be basically the copy paste of this index tip as you can see here i have uh, written code for every position uh, that i we are going to use if the check count is equals to equals to check every then only then we want to check the distance means uh, we don't care about that if uh, thumb tip is not none and then index tip is also not none index tip is also not none if thumb tip is not none and index tip is not none and middle tip is not none then uh, we want to find Euclidean Euclidean distance of index tip and then middle tip for my frame size 60 was the perfect value and it of course uh, 
varies according to the frame size and the distance between index peak and middle dip i'm sorry here should be index dip distance between index dip and middle dip uh, should be respective of the frame size then as i said earlier uh, last event equals to none and i think i have not defined the operation last event uh, sorry variable last event here let me define it last event equals to non initially there will be no event no event would be available so and i'm sorry i should have written the click here and it will be in the string format and if it is not and again okay, if uh, there was last event the last event was d click then this operation means that uh, we will be checking for 10 frames consecutively and uh, if this operation is true then we would uh, do the double click operation and else again if the if the last operation was click then we want to restore the last event like we don't want to do any operations okay now if thumb tick is not known and index tick is also known and i'm seeing lots of error uh, i have made here like i have missed is here then i'm going to check the euclidean distance again between the thumb tip and index tip sorry index pip uh, i should have written index pip here because i'm going to check for single click thumb tip and then index index pip is smaller than 60. I don't know why the now value 60 was perfect fit for this, but I have uh, checked for values uh, different values like I first checked 10 and then 50, then 100, and so on. And 60 was the good fit for me. Then I want to do last event equals to just click. Of course, just click should be in the stream format. If last event was just click, then I want to reset the value of last event. And again, I want to check between the thumb tip and and the index tip. If thumb tip is not known and index tip is not known then i want to find the euclidean distance i'm seeing lots of error i have made here i should have used euclidean instead of i don't know what i have written i write here written here uh if the euclidean distance between thumb tip and the index tip again it should be smaller than this 60 and then i want to simulate last event is a press operation else if last event uh was press then what i want to do right now is release 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 is also another operation of the mouse and now uh, another thing i am i'm going to do is uh, if the i want to check for the right click so the right click for the right click i can copy this code 
and then paste it here and I am going to use uh, compare between thumb tip and middle tip thumb tip and then middle tip then here will be R click instead of D click okay and finally uh, I would be resetting the value of check count to back zero okay so this this block of code here right here now uh, does some kind of gesture confirmation and after everything is done and we have moved the cursor to that position then what we should do is a uh, check for uh, apply the operations so if the check count is zero then and you will check if last event equal to equal to single click then mouse dot click will do the single click operation uh, let me copy this line and then paste it few more times if last event equals to right click then i want to do a right click right underscore click and then your d click this is a push double click and then if it is press then I want to do press and else Uh, I want to do release okay uh, I think I should have used elif elif it's instead of only if okay and at the end I want to print the last event also Let me comment this line and uh, let's see whether I can get any error or not. So it says that invalid syntax, of course. Uh, where it is? Okay. Uh, I think it is. Okay, okay. I should have used double equals to instead of single. Uh, let's run this and I can see the frame. Let me move my finger there. And since right now I don't, uh, I'm not doing any operations and it is showing known, known only. And let me do this and let's see what it will show me. It should show press, but ironically. Uh, I'm not seeing anything and let's run it again and let's hope I can be I can see some operations it should show single click again okay. it is showing some error uh, I would call it a logical error so the error uh, I'm getting here is a funny one of course a uh, there is nothing error in the output section but the logical error is that i have not increased the check count i'm not getting any operations so i have to increase the check count in every frame so let me run it again and let's hope for tons of okay i'm getting single click but I think uh, single click is not the option that I am working for. Instead of just uh, printing the last event, I want to uh, show that in the frame. So let's see. 
so right now it is showing me single click which is of course not right for single click it should be something like this uh, not not this this is the press now it is showing press release press release and press and release are um, done uh, repeatedly and i don't know what is the reason and let me see again the operation press is not uh, happening well and uh, let's see the operation double click the operation double click is not uh, is also not working fine and the let's see single click now it is showing only press there is some kind of error definitely and let me check that again and come back previously there were some kind of gesture or misclassification and a reason was that uh, we were using clip version of index underscore tip instead of original one we have to clip the index tip to calibrate our mouse cursor but we are expecting the index tip to be original while computing euclidean distance and also to confirm the uh, gestures but now i have made a simple change i placed the list of index tip into new variable index underscore tip m and m means modified here and using the index tip m on normalization too and also we used uh, index tip the modified one on the screen position also let me run this code and see how my result will look like as we defined earlier this should simulate the press but it is not clear that much let me go a little bit backwards this is the gesture touching the index finger and thumb and it should simulate press and by moving index finger far it should simulate release and whenever i do this it should be single click and it is showing single click on the top left and this is for right click and this is for double click it seems that the operations are showing fine and now let's try to enable the operation part by removing comments now let's run the code to move the cursor let me move my fingers and as you can see there the cursor is moving and my mouse is doing something that i never do it is working automatically and i don't know what it is doing in the last run my mouse did some terrible things and i have made some modification to solve that problem i have changed the distance check to 40 instead of 60 in double click and i have also added the code to check check count and if it is not zero then make last event none because we don't want to perform mouse operation in every frame uh, but uh, we will be performing mouse operation in every 10 frame so let me run this code so i have just opened my camera and let me minimize my browser so let let me first cancel and then minimize it let me uh, go to my computer and then uh let's go to the documents no 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 not there and let me go to not there no not there not there uh not there okay <laughs> i'm having a hard time managing this uh where would i go okay cancel this i don't want to go there mm, let's do uh, right click uh, uh let's do single click i have just resetted uh, sorry refreshed it now uh, let me quit this i think some kind of tuning is needed in order to perform this uh in a good way uh, so let me again uh try some stops like uh, selecting no 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 yes it is happening 
and let me do right click and uh, let me just copy it and let me paste it in the okay it is doing paste shortcut now let me continue and i'm waiting uh, for the operation to complete and let's see what happens okay now uh, my desktop is just flooded with the folders that i never opened and now for the final part of this project i have written something different i have modified it a little bit more uh, in order to show my frame uh, which is the recording of my current camera uh, i am defining a video right here using the open cv because while i was doing screen recording and then the camera at the same time uh, the video recorder and the open cv will try to use the camera at the same time and you know what happens and then uh, i have written the frame here in my current directory so let me run this so as you can see here uh, my cursor is moving and let me minimize my browser okay it is minimized and let me minimize these windows minimize minimize it minimize this terminal also now let me do right click let me refresh a little bit and let me select so now the new problem is here i cannot do select for more frames if i want to select something then it should be fast it should be fast this is double click this is press and this is release of course and this is right click let me refresh it again I just want to uh, refresh and I want to master this refreshing gesture. Okay, it is done now. And let me go to other folders like uh, I want to go to my computer. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Still going to the uh, corner is getting harder. No, don't select it. Go to this PC and go to desktop. Okay, let me quit this window. So, I hope you have learned something valuable in this video. And in the next project, I'm going to do something cooler like I'm going to play a game using these gestures.